Direct snap, Blackshear. To the end zone, there's Gio Rosigno. He dropped it incomplete. Oh, my goodness. Was that a Philly special? Georgopoulos to punt again. He drops the snap and just has to do his best just to get rid of it. Goes pretty much straight up in the air, and it bounces down at the line of scrimmage. A live football and a heads-up play by BYU to get some return yards out of it as well. Well, this third quarter, I mean, that sort of sums everything up. It's almost like Red Sandlin's like, that counts, right? That counts. Yeah. Do I get credit for that? Oh, and Lightborn slips. It takes a good Nebraska roll on this field turf out to midfield. That could have been a whole lot worse. But the special teams department for Nebraska has not exactly been stellar right. to start this season. And this play kind of epitomizes Nebraska's special teams play in 2018. Missed most of last year due to an injury, suffered in practice, and that one is wide right all the way. From 47 yards. Wildcat. 11th play of the drive. Oh. The screen pass. It's in and out of the hands of Bender. K State trying to fall on it. And the Wildcats will do just that and put a seal on what will be their 10th straight win in this rivalry. Three possessions in the game, three touchdowns as advertised. They gained 31 yards on that exchange. They faked the end around. Kelly looking deep. Chucks it to the end zone. It is incomplete. Contact between Christian Fulton and Cheyenne O'Grady and no penalty flight. And Fulton is slow to get up. Boy, they run the complimentary play. Last time we saw Cole Kelly and they faked the reverse. This time they fake it, throw the play action. I tell you what, Cole Kelly is not afraid to throw it up. And the hand fighting with Christian Fulton and Cheyenne O'Grady, man, he couldn't get his hands up and uh, got him right in the face in that one. 7 nothing. Nebraska with a lead. Lightborn. On side. He, uh, no, he missed it. And the ball was going to be picked up by one of the Cornhuskers of their own 35. He swung and missed as though it was a changeup. Whoa. That's, that's a new one. That's where you see kickers get injured, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's see what they're going to decide here. Illegal touching is the signal yeah. that the back judge is initially making to the rest of his teammate. But he tried to onside that. He really did. He just did missed he? the onside. Yep. He saw. We're anticipating him being in that gap, but the stunt took him right to the quarterback for a nice play. He's from Charlotte, about an hour and a half away. Hartman. Room up the middle, and now this will be interesting. They have a freshman field goal kicker. He's been solid, but they've all been from close range, and this is about the extent of where Dave Clawson said they might try one. They went for it on fourth down seven times last week against Boston College. I think the thought here is, hey, we just put a pretty good drive together. They, the kicker's they, not they on the do, field. Do they need a kicker. surprised they're trying yeah. this. They do need a kicker. And they still have 18 on the play clock, but you saw Nick Skibo over practicing on the net. <laughs> Time for one quick breath. 37 yard attempt. He's six out of seven. But his longest make has been 35 yards. And he hooked it off the upright. And Nelson motioning, and the snap hits him. Cooper Wilson in the ground, and Ohio State's got it for a defensive touchdown. We'll see who's on the bottom of the pile, but the snap hit Nelson while he was moving in motion. The and Ohio State's nope. going to come up with a defensive touchdown, and it is Draymond Jones, I believe. All recovered in the end zone by the defense for a touchdown. That is the fourth defensive touchdown that Ohio State has had this season. And it is Draymond Jones who came up, or was it Jonathan Cooper now? You know, I can't. It's third and 13. 
trying to dance out of there. And it is intercepted. It's picked off. It's Pita Tonga. Much. He tried to make every play. It's third and 13, Steve. There is no chance of this play working. Now he's back in the pocket, and he's going to get hit. And he just throws it up. That's that's the worst possible thing you can do in that position. Peter Tonga is lucky that ball didn't go out of the end zone. <laughs> Tonga got a hand on an earlier one, nearly had a pick earlier. Gets a second crack. The 300 pounder has a chance to score a touchdown, and he fumbles it. Push in motion. Pet away. Shipping his way forward as he crosses the 45 up to the 47. Caden Stearns with the tackle. Two timeouts left for West Virginia. Clock is a factor at this point, but they've got great field position and a veteran quarterback. They know they can quick strike at any moment. They're one of the best teams in the country when it comes to explosive plays. They came into this game tied for 13th in college football. And I don't think I've ever seen this happen. I've never seen that before in my life. That's Anthony Cook on the other side. He's stuck at the bottom of the pool. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. That's great. A date with USC in a few weeks and the Red River game. With this Oklahoma team underneath another completion as the receiver runs into the official A.D. Miller with the catch. I mean, this is the best defensive play we've seen yet against Oklahoma. How about this? Oh, he tried to even said, you see me? He tried still, to get skinny. He tried, <laughs> he tried to get skinny. Oh, A.D. Miller is going to get roasted in film for getting tackled by the official. Oh, man. You know what? I think that's targeting. <laughs> Throw him out. Throw him out of the game. Get him out of here. Look get at him that. out of here. Oh, my goodness. A couple of rushing touchdowns last week for Robinson. Oh, now a loose football. Bad snap, ball loose. SMU says they have it, and they do for TCU. We talked about it at the beginning of the game, the little thing. Here's Delaney to kick it away. Hassan Hall at the one, and we're touching me. No, no. Did Down at the it? one. No, he didn't signal for the fair catch. Oh. He's down at the one. You have to signal for the fair catch. He downed a knee at the one. And seven. And an official stops play as, boy, Franks got drilled by Burns. Dan Mullen wants a penalty. Franks will not win an Academy Award this year, ladies and gentlemen. That is what we call a flop. It does come. Dallas picks it up. Intercepted. Juan Thornhill. And Thornhill keeps on going. Inside the 10. the verge of exactly that as it looks like we are going to go wildcat now with Darian Kendrick running the option taking the direct snap and that one of the few times today that the Clemson offense self-destructed you ever brought a book to a game like that that's just a bad is that just a backup plan if the game isn't going well I better have my book to read End of the third quarter. And end of chapter four for that guy. 52 to three, Clemson on top of Florida State. Look at St. Allison up there for a book report. <laughs>